Hi everyone, Serlin here from Fantasy Strike, and I want to give you a quick developer update, uh, a recap on how you challenge your friends online in Fantasy Strike, and then tell you about our new feature where you can watch people play online. And both of these things are dead simple, they are just one click to do the thing. Uh, and it was very difficult on our end to make it that simple on your end. And I wanted to tell you why did we go through so much trouble. Uh, you know, we've spent weeks just on this ability to watch feature to get it just right. And the reason we're putting so much effort into it is that we're frustrated uh, with how this works in, in other fighting games. So think of it like this. Let's say that you wanted to call your friend on the phone. What would be the first step to do that? Uh, would you create a lobby where, where there's seats for you and your friend and then set up the parameters of this lobby and then uh, name it or give it a password or something and and then communicate that password to your friend who would then join and sit in one of those virtual seats so that you could start talking to each other no that is that is not how phone calls work okay how they work is you have a list of friends and you you touch the friend that you want to call and that's it uh, I mean they 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 accept the call and then you you speak to each other it's very simple and direct and that's the paradigm that we want to move towards <laughs> in fighting games to make it as simple and a few steps as possible okay so how it works in fantasy strike if you want to play against a friend and you've been able to do this for for quite some time you go to our in-game friends list uh, if you're playing the steam version you can get to that quickly by pressing the tab key and anyone who is online in fantasy strike has uh, an icon of crossed swords next to their name. So you, 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 click, you click on that, you challenge them, they accept, and you're playing. That, that's it. That's all you've got to do. Uh, and there's, there's something to, to re remark about when they, uh, when they connect. So what actually happens when they accept your challenge? What happens is something that is a little different than we've seen in other fighting games. Uh, we actually put you in exactly the same UI flow as if you were sitting next to them uh, playing a local versus match. So if they were... If your friend was next to you in real life uh, and you, you played a local versus game, the first thing you would do is you'd pick, do you want to play a 1v1 match or our team battle? And then you'd go to character select and then you would actually play them, the gameplay part, and then you'd keep, you'd keep playing them. You could loop that over and over. So that flow and, and how it looks and works and the UI, all of it is exactly the same when someone's sitting next to you as when you challenge a friend and they, they accept and you play online. So again, it's just, it, it's so simple, there isn't even any extra UI there. Uh, but let's talk about the new feature of, of watching or spectating other people playing. So again, you go to your friends list, and if someone is, is in progress playing, you can't challenge them because they're busy. And that uh, cross swords icon changes to an eyeball icon. So anyone that has an eyeball icon, you can click on them, and you will start watching them. Uh, now, if you happen to click on it while they're on the, the mode select where they're picking team battle or the 1v1 uh, game, or if you happen to click on the eyeball when they're at character select, you will instantly start watching them, like right away. Now, if you happen to click when they're in the middle of gameplay, you're going to have to wait a little bit, a few seconds. Uh, you'll have to wait until the beginning of the next round. Not the next game, but the next round, and rounds are very short in Fantasy Strike. so. A few seconds after you click, you'll begin watching. And uh, a pretty cool uh, feature here is that once you are watching them, you're going to keep watching them forever uh, until you voluntarily quit or, or they kick you or they stop playing. Uh, but the default is you just keep watching over and over. So that means if they, if they rematch against their friend let's say uh, over and over you'll see that if they change characters you'll see that if they stop playing that friend and then start playing a different friend and then a, then a third friend and then they go to a quick match and they play a random opponent online and then another quick match and another random opponent all of those cases you automatically follow them and you will watch all of those games so uh, that's just really convenient uh, another couple little nuances to know is uh, if anybody is watching you there is a, a little number in the corner of the screen and an eyeball it tells you how many of your friends are watching you at any given time you can go to your friends list uh, if people are watching you and you have an extra tab there 
called Watching You, and you can see exactly who's watching you. Um, and then a, another really important feature is inviting to watch. So let's say you're going to play against uh, someone else, and it's going to be this, this really hype match, and you want your friend to stream it and talk about it. So you can invite your friend to watch uh, in preparation uh, for the for the other friend that you're going to play against. So you could invite before you've even connected to to your opponent, or you could connect to your opponent and you're both at the character select screen. And at that point, you could uh, invite uh, your your streaming friend to watch if you want, and they would they would instantly start watching. Uh, and uh, you know, then they'll they'll stick with you uh, throughout all these games as I as I just talked about. So the, just the important thing there is that uh, inviting to watch is like a, is a signal of of when the uh, exciting match is going to happen. So your your friend uh, you know knows when to get in on the action. That's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, the the summary here is just these two things that are that are one click. Click on the swords by any friend to challenge them and. Click on the eyeball to watch them. So uh, try it out and <laughs> let us know how it works and see if you have fun uh, just being able to watch any of your friends playing any time in Fantasy Strike. Mm -hmm.